Most people think that having varicose veins has no cure, but this is not true. Many natural treatments are available to treat spider and varicose veins, and most people don't really know about them. Some changes in lifestyle habits, diet, the use of natural remedies, supplements, and secret tips can make a world of difference. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal the best secret natural treatment and what home remedies you can use to treat varicose veins and spider veins naturally and effectively. Hey. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Although we tend to think that varicose and spider veins are a woman's problem, both men and women develop vein conditions. These bulgy veins that appear lumpy and dark in color, usually blue or purple, tend to look horrible, but most importantly can cause pain if they're not treated appropriately. According to the Department of Health and Human Science, close to 55% of women and 45% of men in the United States suffer from some sort of vein condition. This is why it's extremely important to watch out for the symptoms and to treat this condition before it gets worse. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal the best secret natural treatment and what home remedies you can use to treat varicose and spider veins naturally and effectively. If at any point in this video you need something natural to help treat varicose and spider veins, look for Vein Flow and On Cardio from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. These are two carefully formulated supplements for this condition. Number one, don't stand up for long periods of time. Varicose veins are always a symptom of an underlying venous insufficiency disorder. This means that if you're standing up for long periods of time during the day, this will only make things worse. You see, varicose veins usually appear because the vein walls in your legs lose the ability to contain blood that's trying to travel upwards towards the heart. Age, hormone changes, inflammation, and even collagen deficiencies are some of the main reasons why varicose veins might appear. Now, if we add gravity to the mixture, these weakened vein walls will only get worse. Let's think about this for a moment. If your veins, usually in the legs, are pulling blood that they can't really contain to travel upwards, and you're not helping them by standing up all the time and during the day, vein insufficiency is going to get worse. This is why professions where people have to stand up all the times have the highest prevalence rate for vein insufficiency. It's very simple. It's a simple law of physics. With gravity, everything that goes up must come down. So now we know if you're standing up for too long during the day, this becomes a serious problem if you want to treat vein insufficiency or varicose veins. Number two, exercise. Regular exercise is one of the best things you can use to improve blood flow and lower that inflammation. You see, one of the most powerful tools used by the body to improve venous blood flow are the muscles and the connective tissues surrounding the circulatory system. Veins never travel alone throughout the body. They need the surrounding system of collagen, muscles, and fiber to do their job. And this is why exercising is so important. It moves your muscles and puts pressure on your veins to help that blood circulate upwards. The exercises you should be aiming for are low intensity exercises. They're not going to put too much strain on your veins and make matters worse. And if you think about this, exercise is another great way to balance out your hormones naturally. It makes you lose weight, maintains a healthy blood pressure, blood flow, and even a good sugar control, which all contribute to the formation of varicose veins. The Carolina Vascular Institute recommends preventing varicose veins by performing leg lifts, bicycling, and stretching the veins around the legs to help them function. Low impact exercises like walking, swimming are also ideal for varicose vein sufferers because they help alleviate the pressure of carrying that blood. Number three, find a good quality formula. Several plants and herbs have been used for thousands of years as a popular folk remedy for varicose veins. And many of these are very effective. Some of these are butcher's broom, horse chestnut, hawthorn berries, and leaves. 
Some of these herbs have been found to be effective and safe in treating varicose veins. They relieve chronic venous insufficiency that causes the pain, the ankle swelling, the feelings of heaviness, itching, and the leg cramping. They're also beneficial for lowering water retention, circulatory problems, the swelling, diarrhea, PMS cramps, and even skin-related conditions. The problem with finding all of these separately is that they become very hard to consume. So the best way to beat this is by finding yourself a good quality formula that contains all these ingredients in one capsule form. At drlandivar.com, you're going to be able to find vein flow from Fineland. This supplement has been very carefully formulated with eight ingredients designed specifically to help the body treat spider and varicose veins naturally and effectively. So remember, find yourself a good quality natural formula. Very important, more than you think. Number four, eat an anti-inflammatory diet. At first, it might sound like it's not very important, but you have no idea how this can change your situation. You see, certain foods help reverse inflammation and improve blood flow, making it possible for you to heal varicose veins faster, but at the same time prevent future ones from forming. You see, a poor diet that's high in trans fat, sugar, caffeine, alcohol, and processed foods can contribute to damage in your circulation system, hormone imbalances, weight gain, and blood pressure conditions. So stay away from these foods. Many of these foods are also high in sodium, which is dehydrating to the body and can even contain toxins that can worsen the swelling and the varicose veins you have. Okay, so what are the best foods you should be consuming if you have varicose and spider veins? Let's name a couple of them. High fiber foods. Fiber helps improve that heart health and circulation, but it's also necessary in a healthy digestive function. High fiber foods you should be eating include chia seeds, flax seeds, which are also high in omega-3 fatty acids, vegetables, fresh fruit, and sprouted legumes. High antioxidant containing foods. High antioxidant foods such as flavonoids, which are present in berries that contain vitamin C, vitamin E, help straighten veins and improve arterial health overall. Vitamin E, for example, is known to prevent blood clots from happening and act as a natural blood thinner. Vitamin C found in antioxidant foods has a powerful anti-inflammatory and very beneficial effect in skin health. Natural diuretics. If you have heavy varicose veins, doctors will sometimes use diuretic pills to help increase that urination and reduce water retention in the circulatory system. But what you don't know is that you can use home remedies at home safely and these have the same effect. Try consuming fresh herbs that include parsley, cilantro, basil, cucumbers, and celery. Rich magnesium foods. In case you didn't know this, the pooling of blood, high blood pressure, or even leg cramps are all warning signs of electrolyte deficiencies like potassium and magnesium. To overcome these symptoms, try to increase the intake of leafy green vegetables, avocados, bananas, and sweet potatoes also. Most people with varicose veins never think about the diet as an important part of their treatment, but believe me, it is. Never underestimate the power of food. Food can be your cure or your illness. Never forget that phrase. Number five, use essential oils. Believe it or not, many essential oils can also be beneficial when improving blood flow due to varicose veins. These oils can also help lower inflammation in the area and even normalize hormone imbalances in the body. One of the best essential oils for specially treating vein problems is cypress oil. This oil has the ability to increase circulation and support the circulatory system. Try rubbing five drops of cypress oil on the problematic area twice a day during several weeks. If you experience muscle aches, swelling, or even skin blisters, try diluting this essential oil with other oils like peppermint, tea tree oil, lavender oil in small amounts to soothe that problematic area and those blisters. Number six, lose some weight. People who are overweight are more likely to develop varicose veins, especially overweight women and elderly people. Carrying excess body weight puts higher amounts of pressure on those veins and can contribute to inflammation, especially in the largest superficial veins of your legs. According to a report from the Huffington Post, there's a strong connection between obesity and varicose veins. So be careful, be sure to keep that weight manageable. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of appointment, visit drlandivar.com. And right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're going to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.